Hey, what is up everyone? Chris here again with another ROM review. Today I'm going to be doing one that uh, several ha of you have requested and that is the Pure Nexus ROM. As always, I'm going to be leaving the link down in the description where you can find the thread on XDA and the download links also there. I'm going to be going over this ROM itself and the performance and my usage in the past week or so. Um, again, this is going to be running 7.1.2. It is running a June security patch. Um, this is actually um, the latest one that they have, which is the 6.22. Um, so I'm not sure when or how often these are updated, but it is uh, a couple weeks old um, by this point when I'm releasing this video. Anyways, this is based on a Nexus style pixel, um, very basic and to the point, not uh, nothing real added or extra per se. It is based on AOSP. Um, there's a lot of uh, advanced settings as far as uh, customization goes, as you would expect. Um, notification drawer, you do get the quick pull down options. You do have the ability to uh, select advanced features as far as your Wi-Fi goes um, and some of these other quick toggles. But uh, that is one of the bugs I've noticed. And it says advanced quick toggle. Um, you can click on it to look at additional uh, settings or actions, but it doesn't give you the option. It just turns it on and off. So I'm not sure why um, that's a feature, especially for the uh, GPS. I like to see the ROMs that have the ability to tap on it and it lets you select if you want uh, high accuracy, battery saving, or device only. Um, unfortunately, I'm not sure. Um, I think that might be a bug, actually. First time I've kind of uh, experienced that. So anyways, on we go. You do have recent app options um, as far as being able to clear all button, whether it be the stock or if you want to have it, um, the button down below in the bottom right. I wish then it gives you an option to remove the clear all like in the stock Android and just have the one in the bottom right instead. Hardware keys, you do have all of your single tap, long press um, actions and things like that which work fine. Um, fingerprint scanner also works great, no issues um, in regards to it failing after a failed uh, scan, so that's good to know. Navigation bar options are there. So everything that a custom ROM would have does here in the Pure Nexus. Um, you do have the three finger swipe for a screenshot. Um, just little customizations that help um, improve just the overall experience and customization of the ROM itself. On the lock screen you do have the ability to add additional um, icons for the screen unlock which is a nice touch ability to change some of the settings in the volume rocker and pressing what those do, the number of volume steps, all of that. Um, everything else is working great. Battery life, I would say, is, is good. Um, it's not as good as like Dirty Unicorns or some of the other ones I've reviewed. Um, I am using the Dark Moon on this um, on this device and this this, uh, this ROM. Um, screen on time I was getting, if I was conservative, about five hours screen on time, but easily four, four and a half hours screen on time. Um, so I would say that is, is good in my book. Um, depending on your usage, it may vary, it may be more or less, of course. According to the, the thread, it says that uh, you'll need to flash bean gaps or beans gaps. Um, I actually flashed uh, open gaps stock um, without any issues um, and never really had any problems during the install or setup process. So I can say that is good to know um, that you can flash open gaps itself. So I thought I wanted to give you guys this overall impressions of the review as always maybe about once a week um, it's been a little bit more difficult since I've been swapping devices and testing different ones to get these ROM reviews in but um, 
again, I really guys appreciate uh, you stopping by checking out my channel. Um, something else you do get is the ability for the navigation bar to change color according to uh, whichever app that you're going to be opening. So like Google Plus, YouTube, it's going to be opening in um, like a red and then Twitter, you're going to be getting the same background. So no, um, you don't have to fiddle around specifying the different colors um, for the apps. It does that for you automatically. So that's a nice little touch. Again, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them down below and I will try and answer them to the best of my ability. And hopefully you guys subscribe, like the video if you thought it was helpful, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.